This presentation was brought to you by Spy Equipment UK and Crimson IT. Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Windows Breaker. As you can see here we have a Windows machine that has a couple of user accounts. One is Sarah. I do not know the password for Sarah's account. I am going to try and log in by guessing Sarah's password. As you can see Windows will not allow me to log into this account as I do not have the correct password. Windows Breaker will allow me to access this or any other local Windows user account without the need to change any passwords just by booting the computer with a USB key. So now we'll shut down the computer and whilst it's switched off we'll insert the Windows Breaker USB key. Once the key is inserted we will switch the machine back on. OK, so we have inserted the Windows Breaker USB key into a USB port on the computer and switched the power back on. Depending on your machine settings, you may need to enter the system BIOS to allow you to boot from this key. Different manufacturers use different keystrokes to gain access to the system BIOS. Some common key presses to access the system BIOS are the Delete, F12 and F2 keys. On the machine that we are demonstrating on here, the keystroke is a single press of the F2 key. On some machines, the prompt to enter the system BIOS only appears for a short time, so you need to be ready to press the appropriate key when the prompt appears. Once you have established which key you need to press, it may help to press the key repeatedly after pressing the power button on your computer so that you can catch the prompt. You may be able to press the pause key on the keyboard as we have here to buy you some more time to read what's on the screen. Be aware that you may have problems if you are using a Bluetooth or wireless keyboard as the hardware may not have had time to initialize before the prompt to enter the system BIOS has left the screen. So even though that you're pressing the key on the keyboard, the signal may not be received by the computer. If you think that this is the case, you'll need to plug a wired keyboard into your computer. Before we enter the BIOS, I must make you aware that once we enter the BIOS, there are settings in here that if you change could lead to loss of data or malfunction of your machine. By continuing to follow this tutorial, you must acknowledge that you are doing so at your own risk. So, we'll go ahead and press F2 now and enter the system BIOS. We're looking for the option to change the boot priority. This means the option to decide which device the computer will read and attempt to start from first. Now, depending on the make and model of your machine, these settings may look different on your computer. If you can't find the option to change the boot priority, you may need to call the Spy Equipment UK technical support line which will incur a fee. Now I know that in our example these settings can be found on the boot menu so I navigate across using the arrow keys on my keyboard until I reach boot. The items listed here are devices that are available for us to start the computer from. In the example the device nearest the top of the list is tried first so here it's the CD-ROM drive. If the computer is unable to start from the CD-ROM drive, it will then try the hard drive, and so on. Before making any changes to this list, I strongly recommend that you make a note of these devices and the order that they are listed in, so that you can put them back in the original order when you are finished. Now, in my example, the USB key is classed as a removable device, so I move removable devices to the top of the list using the plus key. I have now configured my machine to boot from the USB key first. 
I'll now exit the BIOS by going to the exit menu and select the exit and save changes option. My machine will now restart and boot from the USB key. The machine boots up and you are presented with the menu with a single item, Windows Breaker Password Bypass. Press enter and you are presented with a legal disclaimer. Press enter to agree with the terms of this agreement. The Windows Breaker screen now loads. When the program is ready, you will be presented with an account of your remaining credits and prompted to press any key. Upon pressing a key on the keyboard, Windows will continue to load. Once Windows has loaded, you will be able to log in as your desired user without a password. OK, you can see here the machine has booted. The login screen looks the same as it did before. The only difference is that the machine has booted from the Windows Breaker key. If I click on Sarah's account now, as you can see, I don't need a password. The machine just logs me straight in. Once I am logged in, I can perform any action that Sarah would usually be able to do. I could install software, copy data to the computer, and I can access any data that her account has permission to see. On there, shut down the machine and remove the Windows Breaker key. OK, so the machine is now booted up, but without the Windows Breaker USB key inserted. If I try and access Sarah's account now, you can see that the password requirement has been reinstated so the machine is back exactly as it was before we we ran the Windows Breaker. That concludes this tutorial on how to use Windows Breaker. This presentation was brought to you in association with Spy Equipment UK and Crimson IT. Thank you for listening.